thanks and apologies to the audience for having to hear me a second time. <laughs> Um, but I will not be as long um, since, uh, since you've been hearing me for all afternoon. Um, in the case of Barbados, as you know, we're a small island, developing state, a very open um, economy. Um, our emissions are 0.000% of global um, emissions. But that has not prevented us from exploring the possibility and options related to low carbon development. Um, there is um, a significant amount of political support at the highest levels of government, both um, the current Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Frandel Stewart, who was a member of the um, Secretary General's Global Sustainability Panel, um, as well as the leader of our um, opposition, um, who, um, who, who was a prime minister for, for, um, for 14 years. So there is no absence of political will in Barbados to pursuing low carbon development. As an island state with a fragile ecosystem, um, we recognize that that is the only pathway um, th that our development um, should undertake. Because if we don't protect the environment, um, if we don't develop sustainably, then, um, then we will not be able to depend on our largest earner of foreign exchange, which is tourism. If we don't promote um, inclusiveness, um, reduce poverty, and ensure social inclusion, then um, the attendant social problems will, um, will, will, will not result in the type of society that, that, that we're seeking to build. So in 2009, the government, government firmly committed um, to becoming the most um, advanced green economy in the Latin American and Caribbean region. Um, we saw this as a vehicle to promote sustainable development. And um, after the Prime Minister launched, launched this, um, launched the Green Economy Initiative, he partnered, the, the, the government of Barbados has partnered with the United Nations Environment Program and the University of the West Indies, um, which is based, which has a campus in Barbados to undertake a comprehensive green economy scoping study. And that green economy scoping study is to complement national, already existing national initiatives towards the green economy through identifying um, specific um, macroeconomic um, policy instruments and undertaking macroeconomic policy analysis, looking at public and private investment, um, and uh, um, undertaking a comprehensive look at how we do business, primarily targeted at four sectors, tourism, agriculture, transport, buildings, and, and, and housing and looking at cross-cutting themes, three main cross-cutting theme themes, water resources, um, energy, and waste. And the Green Economy Scoping Study um, is scheduled to be released sometime this, this month, and it will contain practical recommendations. It will analyze um, opportunities and challenges related to um, to implementing the fully implementing the green economy within the context of a um, small island, within the context of a small island, a developing state. Um, when the scoping study is released, we in, we we intend to bring it to the regional level. Um, we are members of the Caribbean community, CARICOM, which is a pretty cohesive group of um, um, states in the Caribbean region. And we intend to share our experiences with our neighbors and brothers and sisters in the Caribbean and then with other small island developing states. Part of the Green Economy um, Initiative in Barbados is a sustainable energy framework where um, we have undertaken to 
ensure 29 that that 20 29% of our country's energy um, needs are met from renewable sources by 2029. Um, and we've partnered with, with the Inter-American Development Bank um, to, 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 um, to ensure that we're able to fulfill this goal. So in our case, it is not an absence of political will. Mm -hmm. um, we have found the, the necessary partners. We have reached out to stakeholders, to the private sector, um, to NGOs, to members of civil society. We have built on already existing arrangements, um, such as our social partnership, which was an initiative developed in the early 90s, 90s where government, labor, and the private sector would um, um, dialogue frequently on issues of national significance. So we've used that form really to engage a range of, of, um, of stakeholders as we pursue our green economy initiative. In terms of some of the challenges, um, the main challenge relates to finance, technology, and capacity building. We've had to source um, finance from the Inter-American Development Bank in the form of loans. Um, um, a lot of the technology is not available um, in, in country, so we will have to source a lot of that technology um, from, from other places. And as a small island, a developing state capacity. Um, there are not a lot of us, so um, so so capacity um, sometimes must be sourced internationally. What we're seeking to do is build capacity in Barbados and build capacity regionally, so that that capacity can then be used um, by other Caribbean states and by other developing countries. As well, for example, um, we are working on an integrated coastal zone management initiative, and um, the intention of the government of Barbados is to ensure that the lessons and best practices used within that coastal zone zone management initiative can be exported to other small island developing states and other developing countries who will be experiencing. Um, the adverse impacts of climate change, including sea level rise, who, who, who need to map their coastlines, um, who, 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 who need to put these various strategies in um, place. So in, a, in addition to identifying challenges, we also need that capacity. We also believe that capacity can be built, can be built in country, it can be built regionally, and then exported internationally. Finally, size really matters. Um, and linked to the challenge of, of, um, of securing finance is the fact that in small countries, we don't necessarily get, um, we can't reap economies of scale. So um, $10 million or $100 million spent in um, a small island developing state might not necessarily deliver um, results on the scale of $100 million spent in a larger country. Um, so we, you know, we've seen this with the clean development mechanism, for example. Of the 3,800 CDM projects, only 19 um, were registered in small island developing states, which is zero 0.5% um, of all total CDM projects. So as we, as an international community, move forward, the national circumstances of these small countries, whether they're island states or even small countries in Central America, these special concerns and national circumstances must be taken into account in terms of providing finance, technology, um, and capacity building. So, sorry for taking so long, but thank you. Thank you very much. We heard about the Green Economy Initiative of Barbados from Mr. Hart and the various challenges faced. Thank you very much.